Hi everyone, welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. I'm Patty. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty, uh, a big swipe. This is an 18 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas. Um, I have the pins, the big pins on the back. You can see that. And I have it taped off. If there's anyone out there that knows of a super good tape that doesn't leak when you tape off canvas, let me know in the comments. I've tried a lot of different brands and they all seem to leak. So, so the colors I'm using today, most of them are mixed, but I'll go through them real quick for you. Um, this color right here is a Folk Art Multi-Surface 14 karat gold. And I have that mixed, look how pretty that is, with the Gold Rush from Hagee Life pigments. So what I do with this is first I put the pigments and I mix it with some polycrylic, just a little bit to get it where it dissolves. Then I mix it with the paint. My medium today is 90% Floetrol, 10% GAC 800 with all these paints, except for a couple that have a little bit of polycrylic in it. And I'll go over those. This right here is a mix of chroma, metallic, what is it, um, pure, silver, and this is multi-metals. And I have that mixed a little bit with the deco art, the sterling silver. So I mixed a little bit of white in there, artist loft white, so it's very pale, but I didn't want this deco art satin to take over. So there's not very much of that in there. This is the only color that I didn't mess with. And this is the Molten Metals Copper. The next one, this is an Amsterdam Zinc. Zinc White. I'm not going to use a whole lot of that. Now this one right here is called High Life Gold. It's an iridescent gold. You can see that. I mixed this with a little polycrylic first. It's a powder. Then I went ahead and just added Floetrol. So there's no other colors in here besides this. This is from TKB Trading Company out of Oakland, California. This right here. Luscious 24 karat by Deco Art. I mixed a little bit of black in there just to give it a darker tone. Not very much black, just very little. And last, I've been in an orange mood lately. I had made up this a persimmon color a while back. I don't even know what colors I used. But then to that, I added cadmium yellow, uh, cadmium orange, creative inspirations. I added some iridescent medium from Artist Loft. I added some raw sienna from Creative Inspirations, and I did add some bare golden sample satin enamel. Um, what color is this? Hot and spicy. So, who knows? So that's pretty. All right, well I'm gonna use an Artist Loft black background, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Floetrol, Australian Floetrol, Artist Loft Black, I'm, I'm sorry, Black Oxide Amsterdam. So it's 50% US Floetrol, 50% Australian Floetrol, and Amsterdam Black Oxide. Mix that together. It's a lot thinner than my usual mix for the Shelley Art Technique. Um, most of these colors are very thin, or all of them are. So um, I'll have the recipe for my Shelley Technique down below, but just know that this I'm going to be using as my swipe color, but it's a lot thinner than I usually use. So let's see what happens there. I'm going to go ahead and flood the canvas with black, and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. So I have the black artist locked down. I have my base coat. I forgot to tell you that I have a white, and it's one of them is iridescent pearl fine golden. The other one is Creative Inspirations Pearlescent, 50-50 on these. Sorry, this camera doesn't like the black, doesn't know what to do as far as focus. Hopefully that's not going to continue. 
So I have that color too. Um, I have everything ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and try to get the middle here. And I'm going to start with the pearl. Now, I double cup these because sometimes the cup just falls out of the bottom. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Well, I'm going to keep it doubled because I made these last night. So let's start with that. I want to see where I'm going here. Okay, that's pretty close to the middle. A little bit more here. You know, it likes to do its thing. Okay, and then we'll go with this gold next. Now this cup really did, this is the gold. I'm gonna go a little bit on each side. This silver, I don't want to really. Where's that bottom? Don't want a whole lot of this. It has the satin in it. I'm going to start this side this time. I'll go right down the middle with this one. Okay. Copper. I love copper. have to be exact. You want to watch someone that really knows how to do it. Cause Creations, Kathleen. She knows what she's doing when it comes to the swipe. She's the swipe queen. So give her, give her a shout. This is the zinc white, so I really don't want to use a whole lot of that. There you go. That's it. This is that iridescent. it over here. Okay. 24 karat with a little black mixed in. I know this is a lot of colors. Does that seem too thick? All of a sudden, yes, definitely. But I don't know. We'll see. And I don't know why it happens. Okay, the orange. Everything I've been doing lately has this color in it. So I'm hoping it shows up because I really like it. And a little more over here. Okay, I'm gonna be using wet paper towels. That is plenty of paint. I know I'm a little a little wonky here. I'm hoping okay let's go let's just go for it. Let's put the you know when I lay the cell activator down I gotta work quick because it will sink. I'll try to find where the middle is here. I got it. I can always add more, but I gotta get going on this. I'm gonna swipe towards me and put on some music.
also, guys, make sure when you get done that you try to cover your work. Um, especially when the air conditioning's going this time of year, you got fans going, you need to cover your work. It helps with cracking. Um, if, if you don't cover it, the top part will dry first and it'll form a little crust. You don't want that. Looks like the pearl that came up. What I do if it slips off the side before it goes all the way down, you can just take that and go back up. The color on it. Make it look like part of the painting here. I think I'm going to leave it. I know I have some air bubble holes here, but I'm afraid to re-swipe it. You think you like these colors together? I think the black cell activator was um, did a great job creating cells. Besides all the metallics and the 24 karat satin, all those create cells too. And I can see a, a shimmer all over, just a slight shimmer. Um, even when you're getting down here, I think that's from well, you got metallics going on, but there's a different kind of shimmer, especially in the white. So even though I stacked the whites, I'm thinking, I don't know. I'll have to do this again without the zinc white. It's really, I'll get you a close up here because you might not be able to see what's going on. So I'll get you down. Okay, guys. Here's a close-up for you. Sort of puffy white. Sorry for the glare. So cool. Tons of cells, just tons. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Push that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. And check out my Amazon shop. A lot of the materials I use are down below. If you click that for the next hour and a half after you click it, you can shop for whatever you want. But I have some of my materials I use. Just click that and it'll take you right there. Leave a comment if you like this. That also helps. Keep on pouring, peeps. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.